figure about digital fund returns of 30% over the past three years. What does this mean to you? That if you had invested three years ago, then you would have earned 30% or something else. Whether you would get a higher return on SIP or a lump sum investment. If you also get nervous about your fund returns, then you're not alone. Chartered Financial Analyst and Wealth Advisor at Fico. In this video, we will discuss types of mutual fund returns and how they are different. People normally confuse CAGR, XIRR, and absolute returns. However, they are not different and are used to compare a fund's past performance and do not indicate a fund's future performance. So let's talk about CAGR first. Full form is compounded annual growth rate and is used to measure a fund's return over a period of years. It is calculated as final investment value divided by initial investment value based on the power of 1 by n minus 1. So, for example, let's say you invest a lump sum amount of 1 lakh rupees and after 3 years it has grown 1.3%. Your CAGR is 9.14%. However, CAGR has a few limitations. First, it does not consider volatility, meaning it assumes a linear growth of your investment. Second, any redemptions from a mutual fund are not considered. Let's look at another example. Here, instead of a lump sum investment, we start with an SIP of 5000 rupees every month and after 3 years, we get 2.4 lakhs. In this case, multiple contributions are made at regular intervals. So, XINR or extended internal rate of return is more suitable. Lastly, let's talk about absolute returns with an example. Let's say you want to calculate fund returns for the past 3 months, 6 months, 1 year, or year to date. In this case, the investment horizon is less than 1 year to date. So, absolute return is more suitable. It is simply calculated by final value minus the initial value divided by the initial value. So, to conclude, if your investment horizon is more than 1 year and have invested through a lump sum, then CAGR is used. If your investment horizon is more than one year and you have invested through an SIP, then XIRR is more suitable. For more investment and tax related information, subscribe to our YouTube channel and see you next Friday.